at you. We got a box opening and we got a Riley. Riley's not feeling too good. He got the old snipper yesterday. I guess if I was him, I wouldn't be feeling too good either. Anyway. Ah, so we got a big old box to open up. Ain't that right, Riley? Got a big box to open up. Which requires a we gotta have more than a steak knife. We gotta have a butcher knife. Uh -oh. Got some dig in. I end up chopping my own leg off. Okay, some tools you need for the job, others you don't. <laughs> Trickery. We got a box in a box. So let's take and Riley. Y'all oh, pardon me. I don't want to put the comb back on Riley's head, but alright. What have we got here? <laughs> Still looking at a blank box, ain't we guys? Hey. Man, I still ain't showed y'all what we looking at. Y'all can tell by the title. Anyway, here we go. Stereo Integrity HT18V3's D2s. I decided to um, give these jokers a shot. I'm not really sure why. I've just heard some good stuff about this. Stereo Integrity, and they got these running for $1.99 each. So I figured, what the heck? I really kind of, some people think I'm crazy when I say that I like the way that the SCAR SDRs sounded. Please note the way I worded that. Sounded. I'm not saying how much sheer SPO output they had, but when I had them in approximately eight cubic foot, seven and a half to eight cubic foot sealed, they sounded really darn good. So, that's why I decided to give these a shot, because they are very similar. Oh, shoot. Now well, that's an awkward packaging. Kind of comes past it sideways. Are you really kidding me? Anyway. So, it comes packaged like that, and you have to kind of slide it out. So, anyway. A big piece of foam. And one big whooper. Now the only thing, my only gripe that I have, that I had, didn't even get them out of the box and had this gripe, is, let me get the box back. And we're going to show y'all. Right, chill. It says 600 watts. RMS website has 700 watts RMS. Come on, Nick. And that the guy's name that runs Stereo Integrity. Now, kind of almost part of sundown. What's up with that? 750 on your website, 600 on the box. That's that's the only thing I'm not digging on. All right. Speaking of digging on, let's take a look. All right. Now, I actually like the surround because. I don't know, it's not as huge in fact, because I, you know, I want to know at which point do you buy an 18-inch woofer with a, um, with like a 3-inch fat roll surround that all of a sudden that your 18-inch woofer is nothing more than like a 15 or a 16, because you can only account for half of the surround to act as cone area. So you got this big massive 3-inch thing on an 18, well, you just downsize your cone area like 16 instead of 18. Anyway, 
enough of my Yammering. Nice plain black dust cap. Nice, um, looks like pulp paper, 3D cone, stitch surround, and it actually is a rubber surround, so that was another bonus over the, um, going back with the SCAR SDR 18s, so this rubber surround. And the surround will allow up to, I think it's a one inch one way excursion, 25 millimeters one way, so, so that's cool. And we do have a triple, just a basic triple stack ferrite magnet with a um, vented, vented pole piece and perimeter here. And then we also have, we cut some light on light. And we also have perimeter venting on the voice coil. It is a two and a half inch pure copper voice coil, unlike the Scar SDRs, which had a... Um, Two inch CCA voice coil. Y'all see Riley. Hey dude, quit scratching. No, you don't have fleas, so stop it. So, big woofer to a little woofer. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for unboxing and a little overview. You guys, I mean, guess y'all stuck around through this. Uh, that's right, no woofing. That's right. Anyway, we're done, we're out of here. He's gonna start working. And we'll catch y'all in the next one.